I know you read the title and you saw the thumbnail and you're saying to yourself, there's no way he just let that happen. There's no way he would just sit down and take it like that. Well, in X-Men Days of Future Past Doomsday issue 1, that's exactly what happens. Let me explain. 28 years from now, mutants are being hunted and murdered by the Sentinel Scourge for simply existing. Banshee gets wiped out as we follow Cyclops, Angel, Colossus and Kitty Pride with their kids on the run from the Sentinels. Angel is caught and is ripped apart in front of the others. Cyclops is powerless from losing his eyes to standing beside a nuclear bomb as it exploded, killing Jean Grey and taking his eyes with it so he can't see what's happening at all. He eventually decides to sacrifice himself so the others can escape and then gets impaled on a spike for his heroics. The children see this happening and try to use their powers to stop them. Charles has his mom's powers and Jean has her dad's. They leap into action with their parents stumbling after them but it's too late. They're eviscerated. Kitty is distraught. Colossus tries to console her. There used to be hope. There used to be innocence. But then Senator Robert Kelly was killed. And that led to the end of mutant kind. All it took was a little push. But they got a giant shove. They were waiting to pounce. The Avengers resigned and the government created their own supergroup called the Defenders to take down the X-Men. Consisting of Iron Monger, Jonathan Walker, the fake Captain America, Titania, and Robert Hunter, aka the Human Bomb. And as his name says, he blew up, causing a huge incident and of course blaming everything on the mutants, giving the government every reason they need to eliminate the mutants. Captain America goes on TV in favour of the mutants to get people to stop the hate, but it doesn't work. Outside the Avengers mansion in New York, a giant mob is formed. They're protesting and physically attacking the mutants when everyone's favourite webhead shows up to break up the violence. Bad idea. They mistake him for a mutant. They call him a gene joke, an offence to God, a mutie. He's trying to tell them that he's not a mutant, but they don't listen. He then gets distracted and he doesn't see the metal back coming from behind him, clobbering him in the head. He tries to thwip away, but they won't let him. They hit him with bricks, yet he doesn't fight back. He could have killed everyone in sight if he really wanted to, but doesn't. He didn't want to risk hurting people and was eventually beaten to death by the angry mob. And that's how it happened. And I'm going to give my opinion for a second. In my opinion, this is just lazy writing. Spider-Man can't just lose his spider sense randomly. He wouldn't just stand there and let random people beat him to death. He doesn't have to hurt them. He is stronger than all of them. He can just push them or move them away. Very lazy writing in my opinion. Tut tut. But let me know if you agree with me in the comments or give me your thoughts down there too. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and peace.